everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this wedding card or an anniversary card or an engagement card. It can kind of be for all of them. So um, inside it just says congratulations, which I'll show you in a moment. So I thought that way it will cover everything because I do need a few in my stash um, for future occasions. So I thought I would do a tutorial. So I've done this acetate style before, but it was about 18 months ago something like that it was in the earlier um, tutorials if I find it I will share a link for it up here um, so what I've got here is the front I have cut out and replaced with this acetate sheet it's a thick acetate and I'll share the acetate that I'm using um, and then inside I have this piece of vellum which has got like a script on it um, and yeah if I just bring it up here you can see these beautiful dies are a first edition die set um, I've layered them up so you can see there's some nice dimension on there and on the reverse side I have um, dyed them and stuck them on so that you get a really nice finish on the inside as well as the outside because obviously you're working with acetate it's six by six I finished it with this ribbon running all the way through and we've got the little heart there at the bottom but I really love this one it's really sweet it stands up nicely um, and I just love wedding cards when they're really kind of simple I love white and silver and the one I'm going to be doing is going to be gold and white so I thought I'd show those two different styles so that's that one there the vellum is from a big pack of vellum that I purchased a while ago and I did share this I got absolutely tons with all different patterns I've got oriental pattern I've got plain flowers hearts more script butterflies champagne popping so if you recognize or know of anything that's similar let me know but I will link in any kind of vellum but if you've got something that's patterned then that's good but if not some plain vellum will be nice as well so everything I need is here and the dies that I've used are these ones here so like I said these are first edition and these are called um, I always cover it Paris I've got to do all my labels I haven't got around to it yet so any kind of Parisian themed dies are always great for you know weddings anniversaries and uh, engagements and things like that so I've used everything apart from the little letter I was going to and it is gorgeous I'll just show it here because I did cut it and then fill it with white cardstock just to really show off the design there so that was the little envelope which I thought was really cute and then the love there that's how it looks there I've just left the silver inside just so you can see it but um, there's some really lovely little um, die cuts from this so yeah everything's been die cut at the minute apart from the rose and the bike so yeah I think this is going to come in very handy and the champagne and the glass are great for birthday cards as well so you know you can use it for other occasions okay so you need a six by six card base you need a piece of 6x6 acetate and a piece of 6x6 vellum and the acetate that I'm using because like I said you do want it nice and strong I've got this one here which is by Ducrafts Paper Mania I have shared this before I have got it over on my Amazon storefront I believe and this one I don't know the weight of it though and I have said that before I need to work it out I'll put a little note up here if I find out because it doesn't tell you anything in terms of the microns because that's the weight of acetate um, and it has nothing here to tell me what that is but like I said I will look into it but this is really really strong stuff so that's what you want to be using really because you need that card to be able to stand up if you don't have a pre-made 6x6 card blank then you just need to cut a piece of 12 by um, 6 and then score along the 12 at 6 inches but you can also do this with any size card so as long as the pieces that you're cutting are the same size um, as the card itself then it's fine you can do this any size so I'm going to get rid of that and then with my trimmer you don't have to use a trimmer but what I'm going to do is on my top sheet I'll pull that to one side so it's going to be a top folding card this top piece here I'm going to pop it in and this score line I'm going to line up with the one inch marker and I'm just going to cut so you're cutting that all away and you're left with this little one inch which now acts as a hinge for us to attach the vellum and the acetate. Now with these pieces here you want to cut another piece that is one inch and that is going to be the piece that we have on the back to sandwich the acetate in between. And then you want another two pieces of one inch for the bottom. Okay and then you've got that piece left over if you need it or if you've cut one wrong so you should have 
three pieces of one by six or whatever size you're using and then your card blank that looks like that. Okay, so that is everything. It's now a matter of putting it all together and it's actually very, very straightforward. So these are all the bits that I've got to decorate. I'm also gonna show you a few little tricks with die cutting. Um, so I'll pop all those there because I don't wanna lose anything. Okay, and that's for that as well, right. So this piece of acetate, make sure it's clean. Mine are pretty good because they've just come out of the packaging. This is gonna sit inside here and it should sit perfectly. If at this point it doesn't, go and recut it because you do want it to all line up. That's gonna fold over like so. So what you wanna do first of all is stick some tape along this inside tab. Now I'm using the red liner tape because it's really strong and it sticks really well to acetate. That's my preferred one, but that doesn't mean to say that there's not other good ones out there. Um, it's just the one that I like to use. So I'm gonna run two strips along there and always Make sure you go over your tape with a bone folder or a ruler and just get all those air bubbles out. And then I'm gonna stick my vellum inside the card as if it's the front, so make sure everything is nicely lined up. Make sure you focus on the bottom part of the card. If the top is a little bit crooked, that's fine because this hinge is gonna cover all of that anyway. And you want it to just, I would say, maybe have it so it comes just a little bit shy of the six inches so maybe even yeah maybe even do it at, at five and seven eighths of an inch you want it to just come down from the score line itself otherwise you're going to get quite a lot of bulk and it might not be able to fold so I will put a little um, kind of caption up just to say actually maybe cut it so it's six by five and seven eighths um, just so you don't have all that bulk but you want to make sure that you get it right down to the bottom part so you've got that little bit of gap at the top and then you're going to bring that piece over and again go over it with your bone folder and you'll know if it is too bulky because it wouldn't fold over perfectly because obviously I've already scored this because it was pre-made it folds perfectly and you, you want it to just fall down like it would any other normal card and because this is heavy um, acetate it's, it's pretty much the same weight as the card blank itself which is about 300 GSM so it is pretty strong stuff okay so that's that piece now all in place now if you're going to decorate with any ribbon, I do have mine on show and that's completely fine. Okay, so that's one way to do it. If you don't want to have your ribbon on show, you need to do your ribbon now so that it will then go in between this and then when we go to stick one of these over the top, the ribbon will be hidden. But I actually quite like the ribbon on show, so it's entirely up to you. Just do it at that point if you do want it hidden. I don't, so I'm gonna pop this now over the back there. So again, I'm gonna run some tape on here. And again, just make sure that you get it all lined up. If it does overhang slightly, that's okay. You can just make sure obviously it's all stuck down, but when you turn it back over, you can just go along and just trim off anything that's on the side. So now when you put that back one on, you might start to notice a bit of bulk so I'm just really making sure I work that score line in. You want to make sure it always still lies flat and just test it when you pop it up and you want to make sure it still stands, which that one does. So now I'm going to add these two pieces to the bottom and this will help just bring that card, this will help bring that piece of acetate down. It just gives a little bit of weight and just helps land the card really. So I'm going to add some double sided tape to both sides of this. Okay, so I'm going to turn it upside down and stick this one in first. So I'm just going to start this corner here. Just make sure it runs all the way along the bottom, like so. And again, go over that and make sure the air bubbles are out. And now this one here I can just line up at the very front like so and now when I put it up again it's even stronger now when it stands up because it's got that weight from there but if you pop it on the side you know you can see they're both completely straight so it's a really nice acetate to work with and it's the same acetate that I use to make the large acetate gift bag so any of you that have used it for that it's that same one. Okay so then I'm going to add this lovely piece of vellum and to attach the vellum I'm just going to add a very very thin strip of again the red tape right along the very top 
Now this is a quarter of an inch, it's maybe even a little bit smaller than that, but you just want a thin strip if possible. Again, make sure it's all stuck down. Take the backing off. And the reason I'm using this is vellum's always lovely on wedding cards anyway, but it does also just blur out anything that you may write in the background for your message. Alternatively, you can write on the back, So, but it does make a difference. So I'm just gonna pop this one just in here. Again, try and bring it a little bit down from the score line. So if you've got anything overhanging, you can just trim it, but mine's okay, like so. And then fold it back, so actually create a crease. Make sure everything stays nice and straight above. But I just think this adds a touch of real nice luxury to the, to the wedding card. And then this one here, I've already gone and um, heat embossed. This congratulations, again, if anybody's interested, is, is an old one. This is Timeless Love by Stamping Up. It might have even been a celebration. I don't know. Something tells me it might have been. I always cut the sides off. So <laughs> anyway, that's the one I've used. You can always look them up. So lots of people always sell these things on um, eBay. So this one is going to stick inside here. Okay, so now onto the decoration. So I've got everything here. So first of all, I'm going to add my ribbon. So what I want to do is, I don't want it going through the vellum just the actual front here but I'm going to wrap it around twice because it's so thin so I'm going to do one again I don't want to go over the, the, the vellum I want to go on top of the vellum two so now I want to make sure the ribbon is all nice and flat okay like so so then I'm just going to trim that off oh, these scissors are so sticky and then my snips so I need to sort that out because that's really bad. That's going to be for the bottom. So what I want to do at the top is I'm just going to add a very small piece of, I'm going to use the slightly thicker one but still a small piece but it's wider, in the very centre here because this is going to be covered by the bow but I want the ribbon to just have something to cling on to. So I'm just going to pop that piece down like so and then I can make these bits tight but what I want to do is create like a crisscross effect so like that and then that one can be trimmed off because it's going to be covered with a bit of glue with the bow but you can see there now and then this one's going to come down and then up there again trim that all off like so and what I might do is pop another piece over the top and just use this to actually stick the bow down because it is very strong. Usually I use the hot glue or the silicon, but I think this is going to work with just this one. So we already went ahead. Actually, no, it's going to be a little bit exposed. So I'm just going to roll some of that in on itself just so it can't be seen. There we go. Make sure that's really pushed down. There we go. So you can see now I've got this crisscross effect inside here. It's all nice and neat and it crosses over there as well. But the good thing is, is you can move this around. So there you go. I can extend that out a little bit more. Like so. There we go, that's better. You see that cool effect you get? It looks really, really pretty. So that's that one. And then the one on the bottom, I'm just going to do a plain strip because I've got the heart going in the middle. So this is just going to be going underneath. Stick that one down. Pull that nice and taut. Like so. And then with this one, like I said, I've got this heart that I'd already die cut. I did die cut two and stick them on top of each other. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of the wet glue. And that should cover everything nicely, which it does. Okay, so that's the bottom there, like so. So now all we need to do is decorate. So I have already got my Eiffel Tower die cut. So this is going to be this one here. But if you look, it's got white already in there as well. Now, usually when you die cut your 
dies all the pieces will fall out which is what you want it to do but to get this easy background effect you don't want them to all come out you want it to stay whole and it's almost embossed and that's what this is here so it's the same die cut but can you see everything is still inside and it hasn't really cut through it's just left an embossed and that's what we're going to do on the white so the easiest way to do this is you need the color card stock that you want to have as your embossed piece so your background for whatever a die it is that goes down first then you want a piece of white cardstock or any color but just a cardstock to go on top and then you add your die okay so basically what happens is is it will cut through the first piece but it will just leave an impression on the bottom and enough kind of um, perforation for you to be able to kind of pull the shape out so if I just run this through and show you I have done this before, it's the same as the shell that i done for the mermaid card. So now that is cut through perfectly, so I've got this piece and it is almost like it's stuck to the one below, but if you pull it away, you might get some bits there that you just need to pick off, like so. But now it will have cut enough away for you to pull it apart. And don't worry if it does kind of rip underneath, because you don't need any of that. All you want is this piece. Okay, so don't worry about what it looks, it's a little bit ripped there, but it's fine. So now, when I pop this over the top, I've got a perfect background for my die, like so. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue, and then now I can sit that right over the top. And now I've got this really nice detailed die cut and it was really easy to do. And you can do that with any colours and obviously, you know, any, any dies that you've got. But that's how I've gone then and got that one and that one. So exactly the same um, method and then you've got those three and that's what I've got stuck on the front there. So they're all ready to be stuck down. I'm going to stick them down with red tape and then because you will be able to see that through the acetate on the other side, I'm going to be covering the other sides of them with these pieces and these are all those embossed bits so that white piece that I just done that's all that is again but just in gold so that's what you want to do for the back side so I'm going to go and stick these all down first okay so that's those stuck down and then underneath so you can see there just about picking up you can see all the tape so that's now where you just want to stick these pieces directly over I mean if you want to die cut them the same way that you did the front one and have the white on it then by all means but because this is on the inside I've just kept it that little bit plainer but they will literally marry up perfectly and cover the inside so again I'm going to just stick them down there you go guys two really cute cards I think they're lovely I love that they're going to work for you know wedding anniversary or engagement um, working with acetate I just think it's really quite special when you do kind of an occasion card like this and especially with the vellum it does give it a touch of luxury so let me know which one you prefer whether you're a gold or a silver person and um, yeah give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's tutorial and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye